toy hunt video um, if you're new to man cave collectibles uh, we've been toy hunting I don't know probably in the last four or five weekends uh, looking for a lot of the popular NECA stuff that's out the GI Joe stuff the he-man origin stuff so if you haven't seen those videos go back and check those out um, but for this weekend uh, we're going out I want to look again for the GI Joe stuff the Baroness uh, some of those uh, things that have eluded us and uh, whatever else we can kind of find and, and check out this cool. Um, we're heading to uh, Hickory, North Carolina. Uh, now what you're about to see, uh, I went out last night, had to go, go make my weekly comic book run. Uh, went out last night and picked up my comic books and was able to swing into a Target and a Walmart uh, in the inner city. And uh, you'll be very surprised at what I found. So that's what you're going to see first off. Uh, you're going to see actually uh, a toy hunt from yes last night. Um, and it wasn't really a toy hunt. I was just kind of out and about and uh, just wanted to see what they had. We had just hunted those, that Target and Walmart here maybe a week or two ago. So I didn't expect to find anything, but I think you're going to be very shocked at, at one of the items I found at Target. So I won't spoil it. We'll leave the, uh, leave the surprise out there for you to find it yourself as you watch the video, but a very surprising find for me. I, I, I was blown away by it that it was on the shelf, but uh, we also found some pretty cool at Walmart, so you'll see that. Uh, but anyways, so go ahead and check those two out, and then we'll check we'll catch back up uh, once we get out of here to Hickory. We'll catch back up with you and let, let you know where we're going and where we're at. All right, guys, so we're looking for our Baroness figure here at Target, but we're kind of seeing the same old, same old so far. We got the DC Multiverse figures that are hanging around. We got uh, the new Goldar. I'm starting to see him kind of hanging around. I got two of them here. So that's two, uh, two Goldars hanging out. Got the uh, masterpiece star screen there, pretty cool. We've seen a few of those lately. We got the uh, Cobra Island. There's Miss Marvel, the star of the of the new uh, Avengers video game. Black Tom. Sigla. Child left. I miss Marvel. Some wrestling figures. Got coffee. Kingston. We got our T Rex that we see everywhere. Star Wars stuff. Thinking we may not have our Baroness at this one. Or probably would have been over here with the GI Joe stuff. But I'll look around just to be sure. All right, guys. So we're over here on the kind of where they have a lot of the video game stuff. I think pretty much the same stuff we see at about every Target. Cool little Sonic figure there. Doctor Eggman's pretty cool looking. Some articulation on that. So the Mario stuff, Iggy, Raccoon Mario, and just a Koopa Troopa. Right there. All right, 
let's go check out the NECA section and see if they got anything over there. Good one. I'm still looking for the right one of the uh, Godzilla figures to grab. That's nice there too. I haven't seen that one very much. Got some DC multiverse stuff. Alright guys, new turtle stuff today. Growing up in my family, this is a distance from where I'm going to go. This is a distance from where I'm going to go. This is a distance from where I'm going to go. This is a distance from where I'm going to go. This is a distance from where I'm going to go. This is a distance from Actually, they're on the shelf. Got a bunch of Transformers here. These have really been on the shelves for a while. See, we got a Hound and a Mirage. Got a side swipe here. We got the Hoist that we've seen everywhere. Cliff Jumper's really nice looking. We got the uh, Grapple that we have seen everywhere. Hot Link there. We got some of the studio stuff, Scavenger. We got the double dealer down there, a couple of those. Some of the WWE Masters of the Universe. So it's pretty cool. Cool Randy Orton here. Those tights all over his arm, pretty neat. And as we keep on going here, got one Power Ranger left. He's more for Cyber Villain Ablaze. Man, two of the Mighty Morphin Zordon and Alpha two packs. Got two of those here. Those are really hanging around on the shelf for a while. I think they were here last time we were here when I bought mine. And a couple of the Ghostbusters. I actually just saw a guy walk up and buy two of these. So if somebody is buying them. Still got three Gwens on the shelf. Those have been there a while. And this Marvel. I saw the Marvel Legends we got here. Well, come on down. Here, like I see, you got these the Batman peg warmers here. And the Spin Master stuff. Look what I did find here at Walmart. They've marked down all the UFC figures to nine bucks a piece. So you got Cormier and Holloway, McGregor. So you might want to check your Walmart. Khabib, you might want to check your Walmart if you're looking at uh, grabbing these you might get them get them on a steal see what all we got here got that and that guy all right guys we're back in the NECA section and we do got something new here we got a uh, Russell Westbrook from Oklahoma and a Kyrie Irvin from Boston 
so those really need to be. We got a Giannis and a James Harden, so a couple of these are uh, on different teams now, so nice to be marking those down for us. As we come over, we got some Godzilla 1954 and Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla there. And we come on down, look what we got here. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, two packs. So yeah, I've already picked that up, so I don't need it, but that's pretty cool to actually see them back out again. So we saw some cool stuff here today. Got some Batman, Joker, DC Multiverse stuff, and all the regular stuff we've been seeing down there. But yeah, two big finds today. That's pretty cool there. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that portion of the toy hunt from uh, last night. So I thought it was pretty cool that a Bebop and Rocksteady was actually on the shelf in a Target. So I don't know if that means they're restocking or if that was something that got, you know, thrown under a shelf somewhere in the back and it randomly came out or if it was a return from, you know, it could have been a return from a scalper that, you know, he didn't get what he thought he should have got for it. So he went back and at least got his retail money back. I don't know where it came from, but I thought it was pretty cool. And then also seeing the uh, Casey Jones and Raphael uh, movie two packs in Walmart, I thought that was really cool to see those. So if you haven't found that two pack yet, that kind of tells me they're still stocking those. So keep your hopes up, be patient, keep hunting. I think you'll find them. We are at our first destination for today, which is a Target. Uh, so we're gonna go on in there and see what's on the shelves. All right, guys, we're in the NECA section here. See what they got. Got some alien stuff going on here. Xenomorph Warrior. Dragon Ball Z. Some Terminator Predator. We'll just go ahead and pick one of these up. I keep seeing them every every time I go somewhere. Let's go ahead and get one. I'm still looking for a Godzilla particular one. This might be one of the ones that... Nope, that's not it. Somebody did tell me something about the Tokyo SOS though. There's another version. Maybe that's the version. Xenomorph Warrior in the box. Got Hellraiser down there. That's awesome. We got the Bob Ross. Tony Terrors. See what this is. That's like the soft goods version. Friday 13th 3D. Oh, we're at least seeing some stuff that we hadn't seen yet. It's pretty cool there. Good looking Godzilla. All right, guys. So it looks like from this section, we're just gonna take our endoskeleton. All right, guys. So we're over in the toy section now. Let's see what all we got. The Ronda Rousey up here. Pretty cool. AJ Styles, oh my gosh, AJ Styles everywhere. Good grief. Got 
some more. All this Jurassic World stuff that we're kind of seeing everywhere. They got the super colossal Indominus Rex. Let's see. Looks like they're all the Indominus T-Rexes. Star Wars, Aljana, and, uh, and Luke, back through there, Luke and Jana all there, got Ray, and Jana back through there. Alright, cool. And this is all the Pixar and Disney stuff. Kind of a cool little pack right there. So it was that. It's pretty cool. Wait, wait, guys, we got some Marvel Legends up here. Looks like they're all game reverse stuff. Rage Leader. A little bit of the AOA stuff. Seeing. Nothing new there. We got some Skipjack, Scrapper, some Prime. We hadn't seen a whole bunch of him out and about. Just kind of nowhere. As we come on down, we got Optimus Prime, man. I'm, I'm wanting to pick that up. Got the one. Oh, they got two Optimus. Two Optimus Prime back in there. We may pick that up. We'll see. Scavenger. We got the grapple hanging around. And the Batman, McFarlane, and the Spin Master stuff. Animated and regular Detective Comics 1000 versions. Bat Raptor. I don't know if you guys saw the motorcycle that McFarlane posted last night, but if you hadn't seen it yet, you need to check it out. It's for the Dark Knight's Metal stuff. Pretty awesome. We got some Star Wars stuff over here. The other is pretty cool for the Legos. That wraps it up for this one, guys. All right, guys. So we went into our uh, Target there and um, didn't really see anything in particular we were looking for. I did grab the endoskeleton, the Terminator endoskeleton. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I've been eyeing that thing for a couple weeks now and uh, went ahead and grabbed him. Uh, so we're going to run into a Best Buy here. I have no clue. I don't typically hunt Best Buys, uh, but. I had a friend tell me that uh, sometimes they have Marvel Legends and stuff on the on the racks. Um, I know Best Buy is kind of running with like a limited inventory and staff and that type of thing. I got a uh, face mask beard going on here. But um, yeah, it runs with just a limited inventory right now with the with the COVID stuff. So we'll just see what they got. So we're running real fast to see, uh, see what's on the shelves. All right, guys, so in Best Buy, checking out the toy section. Got a couple Marvel Legends here, some DC Multiverse. Got that Luke Skywalker. I thought this was pretty cool here. A little die cast, metal die cast, uh, old 1966 Batman. Pretty cool. Cosmic Ghost Rider, got a couple of those. These are the Transformers. Poor Grapple is everywhere we go. There's some multiverse. The Star Wars. Yoda. 
Yoda. Luke, another Yoda. And they got the Bat Raptor there. Just a lot of kids stuff as we're going down. So that's pretty much it for uh I guess what I would consider adult collectibles uh, in Best Buy. All right, guys. So uh, Best Buy was kind of what we thought it was. Had a few Marvel Legends, but uh, not really any, not a big adult collector section. Kind of reminded me of something maybe like a, like a GameStop or something, or some of the some kind of small hole-in-the-wall GameStops. But um, we are now at a Walmart uh, Super Center here. So we'll go inside and uh, see what Walmart has on the shelves. All right, guys, so we are inside of Walmart, and we got our old faithful here. We got our Batman Multiverse, uh, Batman Multiverse and animated series of Batman. This does look like a really well-stocked Walmart. Not that that means they're going to have much of anything we're looking for, but it does seem to be very well-stocked. One of the best Megatrons, I think. Got some Ironworks, Cliff Jumper, Wheel Jack down there. Some Hot Link. There's Hot Rod in the Studio Series. Got a few Marvel Legends here. Visible Woman Leader. This Marvel. And I am enjoying this game pretty good. Uh, the uh, game, uh, the Avengers, new Avengers game. I'm playing on an Xbox One, and it's pretty got a decent story. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of brawler action, but uh, but I'm enjoying it. Got some Power Rangers here. Let's see what we got. Magnet Defender, another one. At least one for Red Ranger. Old Ranger. Some wrestling there. These are marked down. Um, I saw them, if you was watching the video earlier at the Walmart I was at last night, those are about nine bucks. So, um, and I saw, actually saw them at a, at a different Walmart for 10 bucks. So definitely check your local Walmarts. That's a John Cena. Got old AJ Styles there. As well as this one in stock, guys. Probably seeing something that we want. kind of cool for a kid's toy. Pretty cool. Alright, let's see here. Over in the NECA section. Here at this Walmart, we got some Evil Dead. It's a great looking figure. Halloween 2. Another great figure by NECA. Gremlins here. It's awesome there. Pennywise. Some aliens over here. That's the big chap. It's pretty cool. Ultimate edition alien. No movie turtles. Just hoping we might see some of those out and about. This is one of the ones people keep recommending me to get. This 1954 Godzilla. It does look pretty good. All right, guys, I think that's it for this Walmart. All right, guys, so uh, another Walmart out of the way. Not really anything uh, to look at in that Walmart. 
kind of been a little bit of a dud so far today, but we uh, are going to run in a GameStop here and see what they got on the shelf at GameStop today. All right, guys, we're in the GameStop. Don't look like they got a ton. Looks like they got a lot of the DC Multiverse stuff. Original one. These are the wings back in there. Oh, looks like they got a lot of the Spider Man wave and the storms. Looks like the uh, Power Rangers are on clearance back in here. A bunch of blues and then a red. Seen that one in a long time. Kingpin wave. We got that Wolverine, Ray Skywalker. Go on clearance. We got a lot of stuff on clearance here. What's up guys? So uh, we are to that time in our video where we uh, kind of go over um, what just happened, what we found, and then we kind of look at this week's haul, uh, be it from a toy hunt or be it from online purchases or my weekly pickups for comic books, that sort of thing. So we're going to go ahead and look at everything that's coming this week. Um, but as far as the toy hunts, uh, you know, I'm starting to notice we're kind of in a lull right now where there's really just not a lot coming out. I think uh, when things started reopening after uh, COVID, you know, after the COVID lockdowns, uh, we kind of got flooded with so much stuff. And you can go back and watch my previous toy hunts and see like every time we were going out, we were just finding, you know, gold every time, gold every time. And now we're kind of in that lull where companies kind of just threw everything out there all at one time and we the hunting season was great and now we're kind of we've had you know we're going into what i think is probably going to be a couple weeks if not a month even there's just not going to be a lot to to find other than you know you do got the gi joes out there still uh which you know we're gonna we're gonna keep looking for those um but for the most part it's really died down with the hunt game uh so um we did go ahead and pick up today. We did pick up the Terminator endoskeleton. Uh, I love this figure. I actually had, um, I don't know if it was this exact one, but it was a NECA endoskeleton that they did probably five or six years ago. I had it um, and I, I, I actually sold all my NECA figures 
and um, he, he went away. But I really like this figure. It's probably just like a, maybe a current re-release of this figure. So uh, I think it'll look good beside my T-800 uh, Terminator, NECA Terminator figure, and some of the other NECA figures that I've reacquired. So that was really it as far as what we picked up today uh, for our toy hunt. Um, as far as, you know, what we've picked up or come in this week, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll look at uh, my comic book haul. So the first thing uh, that I picked up is this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number 109. This is the 1 in 10 variant cover. Um, I think this cover looks phenomenal. Look at that the artwork on that. I just thought that, that was strictly a cover by. I don't think there's any really key uh, to this issue, but... Um, I thought that was a fantastic looking cover, so I bought it for that purpose. Um, with the Superman uh, issue here, Superman issue number 25, uh, it just says here, it, introducing uh, Sinmar. I, I don't even know how you pronounce that, but anytime I feel like there might be some type of a key to a comic, I do try to pick them up. A lot of times, I, you know, just throw them into the comic book collection. Nothing ever happens with them, but every now and then, you end up hitting, uh, you know, gold, um, you know, like things that have occurred, uh, you know, in the Venom, uh, like Null, and you know, in the Venom line. Uh, and then we had this one here, a Web of Venom Wraith, uh, number one. So I, I actually didn't even plan on picking this one up, and when I got it to the cash register, they had a stack of them. I was like, hey, it looks cool. Venom's hot right now. Uh, so let's go ahead, you know, Donny Cates, let's go ahead and pick it up and uh, throw it into the collection. So uh, that was that was it as far as comic books uh, for this week. Now, as far as uh, kind of the mail haul, uh, we got a lot of stuff that came in. So if you've been keeping up with my hauls lately, I'm trying to build the return of Superman uh, DC Direct and DC Universe line. Uh, it was something I had a long time ago. I sold it, regretted selling it. Now I'm having to buy them all back, unfortunately, at a premium, uh, but I am in the process of buying them all back. And I'm going to do some reviews and I want to do some comparisons between the universe and the directs uh, in time. Uh, you know, they're old figures, so it's not like a highly sought after review, but just during some downtime, I'll probably try to do some reviews on some of them and put them out there, kind of like a retro look maybe at a figure. Uh, but the Cyborg Superman from the uh, DC Superheroes line came in. So that was a really, this is one of my probably all-time favorite figures and definitely one of my all-time favorite characters. I really like Cyborg Superman. I just like that whole storyline. Uh, and we've actually got a review coming soon um, on this book here, which you guys uh, stay tuned for that. This is the uh, Death and Return of Superman Omnibus. So there, there's a review. I've actually already done it. Uh, and it'll be hitting the channel here in the coming next couple of days. Uh, so if you're if you're a big Superman fan or you're a return of Superman fan, uh, that, that whole storyline, check that review out because this may be something you want to see. Sticking kind of in that same uh, genre there, uh, we've got the black suit, Superman, the recovery suit, whatever you want to call it. Um, that came in loose. I got a really, really good deal on him and the doomsday from the uh, dc universe or dc superheroes line i love this doomsday definitely definitely one of the top doomsday figures i think ever made it's a little small it's a little on the small side you can see here uh that the two of them stand near about the same height so from a scale standpoint he definitely runs a little small but i think just the way he looks is phenomenal if he'd have been about an inch taller probably could have been maybe the best Doomsday figure ever made. Um, but either way, it looks good. If I'm going to collect the DC Universe and DC Superheroes figure line, you got to have this Doomsday to go with them. So that was another pickup. Uh, moving over to Marvel. So my Strong Guy review posted today. I've picked up Strong Guy. I'm building the X-Factor team. Can't build an X-Factor team without multiple man. So a loose multiple man come in uh, with his additional, uh, you know, he does come with the additional heads here. So you got the unmasked head, a masked head with kind of an angry look, and then you got the, kind of the stoic face. So what the heck, why is this guy 60 or 65 bucks? Uh, you know, that shocked me. I had him the last time I, co I collected Marvel Legends and I sold off 
uh, that my whole collection. I think I was I had ninety Marvel Legend figures at the time, and I sold them off. And I had him, and I bought him at retail, and now I'm buying him back at you know three times the price that I paid for him the first time. So I I would have never assumed this character would be a sixty or sixty five dollar figure, but you know, hey, uh, crazy things happen in the world of collecting. So we did pick that guy up. Uh, we also picked up this guy. This was one of my all-time wants. I really like this figure. I know, I know, out in the Marvel Universe world, there's uh, different feelings on some people like it, some people don't. Uh, I really like it. I like the size of him. Uh, Rhino has always been one of my. Uh, favorite guys, favorite characters uh, from from the Marvel U, uh, especially from the Spider-Man. I'm building a Spider-Man uh, shelf. So, uh, you know, you got to have him, and he came with the extra head. So I don't know which head I'm going to pose him with. Uh, feel free to put in the comments if you have an opinion on which head is the best head uh, for him to be displayed in. So I kind of like this one a little bit. This one's, I mean, this one's cool in it, but I mean, man, it's, it's he's just crazy looking. Uh, so I don't know. I, I may go with this one, but yeah, put it in the comments if you have an opinion on it. I'd like to hear it. So I believe uh, that covers everything for us this week that come in. Um, just trying to make sure. Yeah, I think that's all we got for the week. So you guys put comments down below. What do you think of the toy hunt? What are you guys finding? Uh, have any of you guys found the GI Joe stuff? Uh, you know, the, the Cobra Island, um, you know, the troopers, uh, I'm trying to think what else the, uh, obviously the Baroness, which seems to be a really, really hard one to find because she's kind of a grail in that GI Joe line right now. People are really wanting to get their hands on her. Um, you know, we got the 3.75 inch GI Joe's starting to hit. I actually saw a toy hunt that a guy was doing the other day and they had like an actual display for the 3.75 inch stuff. I think it's uh, Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, maybe a Baroness. Uh, there might even be some vehicles involved in there. Um, so are you guys finding those out and about? Let me know. Are you guys finding the TMNT stuff? Has anybody seen a Rocksteady and Bebop on the shelf like we did yesterday? Um, that was that just kind of blew my mind. I, I couldn't believe that was on a shelf uh, at a Target um, and nobody had scooped it up yet. But yeah, comment down below, guys. I love hearing from you. I try my best to get back in touch with everybody that comments. Uh, check out my Instagram page. That is something new that I just set up, Man Cave Collectibles Reviews on Instagram. So check that out. Follow me. Uh, probably will post some pictures. You know, I like posting things uh, when stuff hits for pre-order or... You know, if I'm out and about and I spot something somewhere, I'll shoot a picture of it, maybe let you know where it's at, that sort of thing. So uh, put those comments down below. Let's talk. Hit that like button for me. That helps get this video out there for folks. And uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Love to have you as part of the Man Cave Collectibles team. Check out my other videos. I got videos on everything. I just, anything in the adult collectible uh, comic book world, I try to I try to get involved in it. So. Hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Stay safe out there. Until next time.